All right, I want to go over changing materials on topography and subregions. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the material on this topography, and I'm going to left click on it, select it, and over here in my properties dialog box is material. I'm going to left click next to the name by category. And in my material browser, this is, these are the materials that are available to me. I'm just going to type in site to screen out all the other ones. And I want to put site sand on it. So I'm going to select site sand. And I've updated the cut pattern to a solid fill with a gray color. And you can do that too by left clicking on these, selecting solid fill, and left clicking on this and selecting a color. All right, making sure that's selected, click OK. And now if you left click off of this, you can see it's been assigned sand. Now, I have some roads that I brought in from my AutoCAD drawing, and I want to make those a different material on this topography. So I'm going to go to my site view. And I'm going to change my visual style to wireframe. And I'm going to zoom in on this top area where you can see in the AutoCAD drawing I have a bit of road in here. To change <coughs> a material within a topography, you need to create a subregion. So I'm going to left click on subregion. It's going to send me into edit mode. And I want to pick those AutoCAD lines that I have available to me already. You could draw these manually, but I'm going to go to pick lines. And if you hover over a line, it's going to turn blue. You can probably see that turning blue right there. Now you could pick every one of those tiny lines, but it would drive you crazy. So just hover over one and then hit the tab key. And it'll select all the connected ones. And then you can left click and it'll pick all of those. And then I'm going to hover over one of these, hit the tab key, left click, and it'll pick all those. It's going to give me an off access warning and that's fine. Don't worry about that. Now um, I'm going to come in over here and I want to close this off. So I'm going to pick the line command and I'm going to go from the end point of that line to the intersection over here. Okay, And then I'm going to hit the escape key so I can start a new line. I'm still in the line command. I hit the escape key once and I'm going to start a line from that intersection to that intersection. Now I'm going to hit escape twice just to stop that line command and zoom out a little bit. Now I should be able to hit the check if this is a closed loop and it would finish it. But it's saying, ooh, this is overlapping or open. And it gives you a little indication of where it doesn't like it. So you can hit continue here. And you can zoom in on that and see that in fact these two lines are overlapping. So I'm going to use this trim extend to corner and pick the things I want to save. Then if I zoom out and hit check, it's going to create, if I go, um, a different selectable surface there. So I'm going to go back to my shaded mode, right? And it's actually, now when I pick that, it's put that by category site earth assignment on it. And you can left click on this again. And I'm just going to put site asphalt on here and probably change the asphalt color to be a little lighter gray in the shading mode. And then click OK. And if I left click off of that, you've got that. Now, if you wanted to draw something in, um, you could go to the subregion. And I'm going to use a, um, a spline here. And I'll just start on this edge. And so you can just manually draw your lines in. You don't need lines from AutoCAD. So if I have a spline there, I can in mid-flight pick line. And it'll keep that connected. So say if I wanted to make a little, maybe a little parking area here. Right, I can go back to spline and I don't know if that's a good driveway or not. All right, and then go back to line and just finish that guy off and check. Right, and now I've got a separate area there and I can assign that asphalt to it. Click OK. All right, so now I've got those two. Now, you, these are still part of this topography. Oddly enough, you could actually pick them. And if you move them, it kind of moves the whole region itself, right? So you can see I'm just moving this, you know, kind of around, which is a little odd, but, you know, maybe helpful in some ways. Um, but it won't move off of the off of the topography. And you notice that the overall topography is maintaining its and just moving that line basically around on it. All right, so next time we'll go through split surface and building pad.